Um, the idea behind this, when they ask me to do a pediatrics lecture, as I say, there are a lot of good long format pediatric education programs. And the thing is, I think that many times in those classes and in EMT training, paramedic training, and uh, even drills and, and, and actual action on the street, I think a lot of people miss the big picture. The kind of thing that we're all involved in on these calls. Not just the clinical leader, whether that's the lead paramedic or the senior EMT or the crew chief or whoever it is, but the fact that we all, everybody who's on the scene, need to participate in managing the scene, especially with pediatric emergencies. I mean, you can say that about any emergency that you go on, any call that you go on, but the thing with pediatric emergencies is it really draws people out of the woodwork, doesn't it? Neighbors hear that the kid is hurt, people are coming over to see what's going on, and if you're not managing the scene, then it doesn't matter your clinical expertise or the special pediatric devices that you carry or anything like that, you're really going to have a very difficult time getting anything done from your assessment to your treatment to anything else, right? So I find that that's something that's sort of not glossed over, but it's really difficult to put a chapter about that kind of thing in a book so they don't emphasize it as much. So that's what I'd like to talk to you about today. You want to do a toe-to-head exam for this age group. Why? What, how does that help? What's the purpose for that? They get used to you. By the time you get up to the head, um, if you were to start at the head, actually I should say it the other way, if you were going to do it a head to toe like we would with an adult, and you were to start at the head, then what's going to happen is you, the kid could start to get a little bit more anxious and it makes the rest of your assessment a lot more difficult. So we start at the toesies and these little piggies go to market and then we work up our way to the tummy cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> you guys all came to a pediatrics lecture, but you all hate babies. That's, that's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, wow. You want to pre-assign tasks. We're on the way there. Say you and I are working together, and um, you know I, I, I'm a paramedic. I feel comfortable with my pediatric skills, but you absolutely you love kids. You've got a lot of experience with kids. You adopt two or three kids a week. You've got your own uh, play school at home, and uh, uh, who knows what. And I say, you know what? You're the one who's going to be talking to the kid, because you're the kid expert. That's absolutely fine. Um, sometimes it's sort of pre-assigned, like, oh, well, you know, we're, we're going to be on a crew, and this person is the, the paramedic, so they're going to be the, the clinical lead. But uh, if that's all well and good, then if we're working together, you may say, well, Rom, you're the paramedic. You're going to be the clinical lead, and you're talking to the patient, what have you. All right, that's fair. We'll assign stuff. But um, when we get there, if you don't want to make sure that uh, the parents are all set, and the parents have a ride, and we get uh, the, the patient's past medical history, if maybe it's on a list somewhere, um, all that kind of stuff. These are the kind of calls where it's especially important to pre-assign your roles. Decide who is that clinical lead, again, so that we're always moving in one direction, so that we're not sort of having a debate in the middle of a pediatric emergency, so that one person's going to make the decision, and certainly they can do that with input from other people on the crew, but again, one person, we know this is the person that we're looking towards to make the decision to guide us so that we're all moving in that same direction. Where older kids regress to earlier developmental stages. Uh, understand that it won't happen necessarily with every kid, but but they can. I mean, all of a sudden, uh, I find it a lot. Maybe you do at motor vehicle accidents, especially well with males and females. But like, yeah, I was driving along and oh my God, Daddy's here! And I'm, uh, uh, and it's all of a sudden they're five-year-olds, right? Yeah, they were all tough, and I don't need to go in your ambulance, stupid EMT, stupid three letters. How you like your letters? Why don't you have some numbers and colors and shapes? Each and every child that you deal with <coughs> out loud <laughs> is the most special, smart, beautiful, whatever you can think of. If you're thinking in your head, the kid looks like a monkey, then out of your mouth you go, I'm sure she's very agile on the playground. <laughs> I, I don't give a crap what you say, but say something great, throw it out there. <laughs> It's something. 